Today by us, today we're going to solve a problem from the book of thermodynamics by Eunice Engel, Chapter 7, Refrigeration Cycle. A heat pump using refrigerant 134A heats a house by using underground water at 8 degrees Celsius as the heat source. The house is losing heat at a rate of 60,000 kilojoules per hour. The refrigerant enters the compressor at 280 kilopascal and 0 degrees Celsius, and it leaves at 1 megapascal and 60 degrees Celsius. The refrigerant exits the condenser at 30 degrees Celsius. Determine the power input to the heat pump, the rate of heat absorption from the water, and the increase in electric power input if an electric resistance heater is used instead of a heat pump. So first is we're going to identify the given, wherein our pressure 1 is equal to 200 kilopascal, our temperature 1 is equal to 0 degrees Celsius, the pressure 2 is equal to 1 megapascal, the temperature 2 is equal to 60 degrees Celsius, and our pressure 3 is equal to 1.0 megapascal, and the temperature 3 is equal to 30 degrees Celsius. And our power is equal to 60,000 kilojoules per hour. So going back to the problem, the refrigerant 134A is mentioned. So we're going to use here property table, table A11 to table A13. In the table A12, we're going to interpolate so that we can get our so that we can get our enthalpy one, which is equal to 250.83 kilojoules per kilogram, and our enthalpy two is equal to 293.38 kilojoules per kilogram, which can be found in the table A13. And our enthalpy three is equal to or congruent to the saturated liquid at specified temperature, which is the 30 degrees Celsius which is equal to 93.58 kilojoules per kilogram. And our specific enthalpy 4 is equal to or congruent to our specific enthalpy 3, which is also 93.58 kilojoules per kilogram. So first is we're going to find the power input to the heat pump using this equation. The mass of the refrigerator per unit time is equal to QH per unit time over the specific heat. So our specific heat is equivalent to H2 minus H3, we substitute the values and we will get 0 0.08341 kilogram per second. So now that we have the value of the mass of the refrigerator, we can now find the power input to the heat pump, which is equal to mass per unit time times H2 minus H1. So just substitute all the given values and we will get 3.55 kilowatts. Next is we're going to determine the rate of heat absorption from the water using this equation. QL per unit time is equal to the mass per unit time times the quantity of H1 minus H4. So again, substitute all the given values and we will get 13.12 kilograms. After that, we're going to find the electrical power required without the heat pump using this equation, wherein the power increase per unit time is equal to the electrical power per unit time minus the power in per unit time. So since the electrical power per unit time is not given, we're going to find it first, which is equivalent to QH per unit time. And is equal to 60,000 over 3,600 kilojoules per kilogram. So plug it in your calculator and we'll get 16.67 kilowatts. Now that we have the value of our electrical power per unit time, we're just going to subtract it into our power in per unit time. So we will get 13.12 kilowatts. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching.